So I'm sure that you saw Alex Harmozy's content marketing strategy to get his 1.6 million followers in six months. But I'm going to give you something from the wisest man in history, way smarter than Alex Harmozy, Russell Brunson, me, anybody online. OK, so this is going to be an unmatched content marketing strategy you can use to get new social media marketing clients, grow your following, become famous, do whatever you want to do. I've done this before in the past but I didn't go all in. And this year, if you're with me, we can go all in together and grow massively and get as many clients as we want to until we're rich as hell, right? Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm going to show you the wisest man in history, which also happens to be the richest man in history. And no, it is not Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, okay? Somebody way more ancient than that. So let me share my screen with you and uh, get ready to take notes, okay? Not in a boring way of taking notes, but just get ready to take notes, okay? So now we are on the Bible app. This is 1 Kings chapter 4, verse 32, which was written by King Solomon. And if you know anything about scripture, he was the richest and wisest man in history. Right now, his net worth would be past $3 trillion, okay? I'm going to take my hat off because uh, when scripture is coming off, men are supposed to take their head off. Now, watch this. It says first Kings chapter four, verse 32. And this is going to explain his content marketing plan. And trust me, it's going to wrap up and you're going to see exactly why I'm going to the Bible for social media. Watch this. OK, so it says and he spake three thousand proverbs and his songs were a thousand and five. Now, tell me which one of you guys have put in that much work. So a lot of the times, the reason why I'm showing you this is because a lot of the times we'll start our content marketing. We'll start uploading to our YouTube channel, posting to Instagram, Twitter, TikTok and all of that. And we'll give up after three posts if it doesn't go viral. We want to call ourselves an expert after putting out a little bit of content. And if people don't believe us, we run off. OK, so this is what he had to do to prove to all nations. Remember, in the scripture, it says all nations knew who he was and they didn't have social media back then. There was no Instagram, no Twitter, no nothing. So all of this was word of mouth because he was an authority figure in his industry. OK, so if you're an authority figure in your industry, you need to be putting out content to prove that. And you need to show that you're the wisest or the best or the only one to go to for what you do. So watch this. OK, so it says we're going to start right here. And uh, God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much. So God probably gave you knowledge in whatever you talk about, whether it's growing a YouTube channel, whether it's making money online, building a business. OK, so he gave him that and largeness of heart, even as the sand that is at the seashore. So you can even measure it. OK, so check this out. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of the children of the East Country and all the wisdom of Egypt. So you have to remember back then, Egypt was similar to America for today. That's why they got the eagle on the back and they pretty much copy everything, including if you know what I mean. OK, so that's what they did to build a country. But anyway, so this is what's going on. So for he was wiser than all men, than Ethan, Azerite, uh, the Heman and the Calcol and Darda, the sons of Mahal and his fame, his fame was in all nations round about. So you like, damn, like David or Yazreel, that's my name. OK, so you like Yazreel. How the hell did his fame reach all nations when they didn't have cell phones? They didn't have uh, Instagram. They didn't even have computers or or anything electronic, supposedly back then. So it's like, how the hell did he become famous everywhere? Literally. He reached one person. So this is the important part. So you'll get upset because you get one or two views on your video. But if you're as wise as Solomon in your industry, those one or two people will share it or go tell everybody about you. And soon it will begin to snowball. So don't don't like take it for granted. Those one or two or 10 views that you're getting on a video. If you do a good job, those people will come back. The algorithm will recognize that and then they'll start referring people and then you'll be all off to the races. OK, so it says he was famous in all nations round about. He spake 
those 3,000 proverbs. So if you haven't put in the work, guys, if it's people in your industry that's been around for years and years and years and you're brand new into the content marketing game or the social media marketing uh, game or whatever, like how you think that you're just going to come in here and put out one video, one piece of content or even 100 pieces of content versus people that's been doing it forever, you know what I'm saying, and just blow the hell up. Now, there are exceptions. There are people that uh, upload a video and then the algorithm will pick it up and then, ooh, they're famous overnight. Awesome. Look, but who wants to depend on luck? This is the wisest man in history. He didn't say I created one proverb and then it just went viral and everybody in the world noticed me and stuff. No, he made sure. You want to make it a guarantee. You want to make it a when am I going to win, not an if I'm going to win. When am I going to win? Not an if I'm going to win. So you put out as many pieces of content as it takes for people to recognize you as the authority figure. Back in 2015, I took down all of the keywords for uh, payday loans, uh, loans online and all of that extra stuff on YouTube. This is before other people were doing that. And I made a video for each freaking keyword and any keyword that you looked up. I had videos for every single keyword and I had I made it to where I it, people didn't have a choice but to fill out my loan application. So I got crazy amount of money for years and years and years through that CPA offer or that loan application because of my content marketing strategy was so dominating that it didn't leave room for anybody else in the industry. And that's exactly what King Solomon did right here in First Kings. He made it so that he had more proverbs than any false prophet out there. He had more wise sayings. He had more songs that you can enjoy than anybody else out there that spoke the type of things that he spoke, that he spake, okay? And people came from far and wide uh, and they were paying him. Like <laughs> queens queens and kings were paying him. People were paying homage, bringing gold and silver and all different types of stuff like that because of how dominating and authoritative he was in his wisdom. Do you guys understand that? So it says, and he spake, these are things that he spake of. So <laughs> it's not just spiritual stuff that he spake of. He was uh, 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 an authority on matters of life, period, just regular things. And sometimes you get caught up and you're like, damn, I, I, I made a video for all of the keywords. So what do I do now? <laughs> you know, how do I make more videos? I'm running out of content ideas. No such thing. Look, you don't have to just make videos talking about make money online or whatever the hell you do. People are human. And if you're wise enough in your industry, people will start to gravitate towards you rather than just the topic of the video, the name of the video. Oh, I want to grow my Instagram. Oh, if he's not talking about Instagram, I'm not going to go there. No. If you know what you're talking about and you're actually helping people, they'll start coming back to see you. You know what I'm saying? Just because just they like your delivery. Right. OK. So it says he spake of trees from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon even unto the hyssop that spring it out of the wall. He spake also of beasts and of fowls and of creeping things and fishes. So a lot of us think that we only are supposed to be an expert on one thing. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. That's cool, right? But the scripture says, be ready to give every man an answer. So you need to have a vast, wide range of knowledge on different topics as well, especially in your industry. If you're talking about how to grow a YouTube channel, you don't want to only just talk about views. You want to be able to talk about how to hold retention. You want to be able to talk about how to get a higher click through rate. You want to be able to talk about how, uh, you know, collaborations and different ways to get your first subscribers and all of that stuff. You want to be an expert on everything that has to do with what you're talking about. OK, so it says and there came people, uh, all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon from all kings of the earth which had heard his wisdom. So this wasn't no lilos. These weren't just peasants. These were other wise experts. These were other kings. These were other people in their industry. So how do you create a content marketing st uh, strategy to where all of the other experts in your industry respect, fear, or admire you and want to do things with you, want to collaborate with you, and want to recognize you as the freaking leader of the industry. That's what you want to do. So remember, 
don't start whining if you're doing, uh, you know, I switch my niche on this channel a lot of times, even switch the name of the channel. You know what I'm saying? We, we do these things sometimes when we're trying to figure things out, right? But don't give up, you know? My views will go down. You know, when I was talking about drop service and the views went up, you chasing trends and all of that. Don't chase trends. You see it on the back board right here. It says people only chase uh, trending topics because they are not a trending topic. And the reason why King Solomon was a trending topic himself instead of just what people came there to ask him about was because he was an expert on a lot of things dealing with life, not just the business, not just the money. So how do you wrap yourself up inside that topic? How do you put a little bit more of you? For example, I'm giving you guys scriptures. That's part of my life. I am a God fearing man. So you won't probably be able to see this on any other content marketing strategy video. People giving you scriptures and stuff like that and relating it to business and strategies. Right. So you probably don't get that from anywhere else, which gives you a reason to consider me as unique, which gives you another reason to see what I'm going to do in the next video. Right. So uh, if you're not subscribed, then you might miss that next video. All right. So it says he spake of all of those things and everybody came to hear his wisdom. So you want to make sure that everybody come to your channel or whatever you're posting on to hear your point of view on whatever the topic is that you're an authority of. That is the content marketing strategy that is unmatched that you should be trying out this weekend or this year, I'll just say that, to grow larger than you ever thought possible. That's what I'm going to be implementing, and I'm going to be consistent with it this time. See what happens. See what happens here. Come back, all right? Love you guys.